Hi, this is Derek Tsai from LearnByBlogging.com. Today I want to give a review of this book called What If? by um, Randall Monroe, uh, creator of uh, XTCD, Serious Scientific Questions to Absurd uh, Hypothetical Questions. Um, and you can follow along on the note here. Um, there are a lot of serious uh, scientific answers to a lot of the uh, absurd hypothetical questions. Uh, some are intriguing, but not but most are kind of overly hypothetical, uh, borderline silly, and the answer will already thought out uh, to me an overkill. And I wish the question were more uh, plausible. Um, but you know, kind of make a funny uh, scientific uh, answer to them. Some of the, uh, the good questions that uh, have good answers, um, like, um, um, let me see, um, some of the good questions have good answers, like swimming in a uh, typical spent nuclear field pool. Uh, I was surprised that you can actually come out alive, okay, as long as, as the radiation kind of drop off uh, half strength every seven millimeter of water and uh, you'll probably die from the gunshot wounds by the uh, security and uh, according to the author number two uh, some of the elements on the bottom of the periodic tables are so radioactive and so transitory that a nuclear explosion can potentially occur uh, if you just uh, trying to collect a small portion of it uh, interesting fact and <clears throat> They talk about a mole, which is a unit of measurement of roughly uh, ten, six, to t 6 times 10 to the 23 is a huge number. And um, the question is, if you have a mole of moles, uh, which are animal moles, uh, could mean a really size, uh, really bigger than uh, the size of the moon. And um, so that's kind of uh, interesting. Uh, number four, uh, every, every human somehow simply... Uh, if every human somehow disappear, what is a large artificial light uh, could be timing coming off uh, from our nuclear waste uh, deep in the concrete vaults? So that will be the last light of a uh, human trace. Um, hmm, hope it doesn't happen. Number five, uh, all the physical space of storage in the internet can be contained uh, in just uh, this is about the high dr hard drives can be contained in just one oil tanker. So it's not as big or maybe the density of the hard drive are so huge these days. Uh, this speaks to the amazing density of, of the hard disk. And, uh, <clears throat> and number six, uh, during dropping a piece of steak from the orbital distance uh, from Earth uh, would char just the surface uh, but not cook thoroughly enough uh, because the cold temperature uh, as you drop on the top from the uh, <clears throat> that orbit and uh, inside the stick can still be frozen or cold so go figure if that's something that you enjoy um, <clears throat> number seven you can't uh, eliminate the common cold by uh, uh, forcing everyone on earth to be quarantined from each other for a week uh, because not all the people and the question here is, can you just get rid of the common cold by just quarantine people um, just for a week? And hypothetically speaking, uh, the cold should just go away. And uh, unfortunately, because not all the people have healthy immunity systems and um, to rid, rid themselves of the rhinovirus, uh, which is a, a source of the common cold. Um, number eight, uh, Yoda can produce about uh, 19.2 kilowatts of power based on its ability to lift um, a X-wing Skywalker vehicle from a swamp. Uh, very impressive, but still not good enough to be uh, um, uh, to generate power from that. And um, if I can generate that much power by myself, that will be very impressive. Number nine, there's not enough energy to move the entire uh, this question here is, <clears throat> can you move the entire current population off the planet um, with the energy source that we have today? And the answer is no. Um, there's just not enough energy because it would, if you consume that much energy uh, to lift the people out of the earth 
uh, potentially will destroy the planet. And maybe that's the last thing we would do uh, if we want to move off the planet uh, to Mars somewhere else. <clears throat> Number 10, uh, self-fertilization. This question goes to uh, if you, these days you can create stem cells from people. The question here is that can you uh, reproduce or self-fertilize yourself um, using the same gene to create the same, same uh, um, chromosome or same gene? Can you reproduce yourself? And it's possible uh, it can be done probably, but there are because you have the same gene, it would be cause it would be too much of an inbreeding uh, inbreeding of yourself could have a very high probability of contracting uh, spinal muscular atrophy and this is a common I didn't know that was a common illness for people who had too much uh, inbreeding and uh, and the example he gave is a case in point is that King Charles II of Spain who's got an incredible uh, inbreeding coefficient of worse than a uh, child, child of the same um, two siblings so that's pretty sad. Um, <clears throat> too much inbreeding in the royal family, and you know probably Egyptian pharaohs also have the same problem. And number eleven, when will Facebook contains more dead people profile than the living one? And because uh, at some point you're gonna have accumulate a lot of dead people uh, as profile. And you know, when will that happen? And the answer is about 2065 at the projected rate. And you know who knows that. Uh, uh, if uh, Facebook can continue to attract that many people. Um, number 12, the Richter scale can go uh, potentially go negative. I didn't know that. Uh, you can get minus, uh, you can get a Richter scale of minus 8 uh, just when a grain of sand uh, falls into the pile at the bottom of the hourglass. Uh, I can barely, I don't think, you know, physically they can even see it and um, that registers as minus 8 on the Richter scale. So interesting fact. Um, so there are a lot of, uh, I didn't cover all the, the questions, uh, there's, there's, this book is really thick, um, <clears throat> but it you know, makes a good uh, reading if you are in the book, in the car, uh, listening to audiobook. And there are lots of uh, useless what if questions the author attempts to answer uh, with great effort. So the question, make good, bra good uh, uh, brain teasers, uh, even good uh, interview questions. Um, and uh, that's all and is all that's going to serve and also for serve the author of writing this book so that's all i have i don't think it deserves any more question more uh, uh, uh time than, than the one i just spent so um here it is uh the review for the what if uh, book thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye now